Joining us next on the Mar Army Rock Show, I'm glad to have In the Red with us on the Rock Show. They've got a brand new record out called uh, The New World. We've got Cody, their singer, with us. Cody, welcome to the show. Hey, how you doing, man? I'm doing great, and I'm really glad to speak with you. And I've actually been listening to the record all day, man. Home run on this album, man. Congratulations. Thank you so much, man. I'm, I'm really excited. People are, are uh, digging it and whatnot. We, we really worked uh, hard on it all year. So tell us, and, a little uh, bit, yeah, so. Yeah, tell us a little bit more about it. just came out on March 30th. Tell us about where you recorded it and where it was produced and all that good stuff. Yeah, I mean, we uh, unfortunately, he's actually leaving the band now, but our, our, our bass player, Art, he's really into the uh, recording aspect and, and whatnot. So, you know, we, we just worked in the basement as you would as a band, like, you know, over the past year working on songs and, you know, weeding out the bad ones from the good ones. And, uh, yeah, once we found about a good seven or eight solid songs, we're like, all right, let's, let's put them, let's finally get them recorded. And, uh, yeah, so we did some pre-production at Art Place, so we had the whole thing essentially laid out already. And then Nick Belmore at Dexter's, we just, you know, he just did the rest, man. The guy's fantastic. So, uh, uh, you know- Dexter's lab up in Milford, Connecticut, by the way, that's the studio. Yeah, man, and, and like I said, great job. It came out fantastic. Now, uh, we may as well broach the subject. So you mentioned that Art's leaving, and you're looking for a new bass player, and I saw the post out there. So for folks listening, what are you guys looking for in a new bass player? What, what's the credentials? Um, we're just looking for somebody who's professional, that understands like the way the scene works, and uh, that not afraid to drive, not afraid to put in a little bit of their own money, and uh, also you know, just really enjoys the music, really enjoys playing out. And, uh, you know, just like the, the typical things I think most people want. Somebody who's not too old, somebody who's, you know, kind of physically able to jump around and whatnot, too, kind of helps, you know. So, and if, it, you know, just whatever, if you're willing to bring something, like, you know, we all kind of contribute something as far as, um, like, you know, what we do in the band, aside from playing in the music, you know, like, we all handle a certain aspect. Pete networks and handles a lot of that. John books a lot of the shows, and I do a lot of uh, the uh, flyering and all that kind of stuff. So it's all kind of a symbiotic thing, and we all kind of put something in. So somebody else is, who, you know, is willing to kind of work as hard as we do uh, would be, like, the best thing that we're looking for right now. But we have some really cool auditions that are coming up. We have some really cool people that are going to come through in the next couple weeks. So we're pretty excited, but we're still looking, though. We're, we're, the door is still open. Now, talking about the new album, I mentioned I've been listening to it today. Did your band take a little turn towards the heavier side, or stylistically, how does this album compare to previous releases? Yeah, we definitely went towards uh, a little more on the metal side and less on like the alternative rock kind of side. And I think that was like a personal choice, on just you know because the band was kind of rearranged when I essentially joined. Like you know, like the bass player was gone, so it was essentially just Pete and John that were kind of doing their stuff. So I think once I came along and I was a bit younger than they are. And I think when I wouldn't we recruited uh, another guy at the time. And, uh, we just kind of started like, Hey, let's get heavier with this. Like, you know, that's what people want to hear. And we, and you know, we definitely have an, an older audience and we kind of want to broaden that out to the younger crowd and whatnot. We want to get everybody involved. So I think the best thing about this new record is that there is something for everybody on it. Now, I think uh, my favorite tune on the new record so far and listening to it today uh, was Complicated. So tell me a little bit about that tune and which tune's been getting the most uh, love from your fans so far. Um, I'm actually surprised that you said that because everybody, everybody likes New World. Everybody likes uh, Insider, which is a surprise for me. I thought that uh, uh, Broken Kingdom and uh, Complicated were going to be like the sleeper songs. But I don't think anybody, we haven't necessarily put out a lot of uh, advertisement on those yet, but those would be later. But yeah, right now, Complicated actually was one of my favorite songs to write, um, you know, because Pete, our guitar player, had a riff, and then, you know, I had a riff, and our, our bass player had a riff, so that was a song that was really written by every person in that band, really put, like, something into that song. And uh, lyrically, it's just kind of about taking responsibility for yourself, you know? it's Everybody kind of looks to blame everybody for the problems nowadays. And, uh, but they're not willing to look inward, you know, so that's kind of what it's about. You know, life is complicated and love is complicated if you don't know what you're doing with it, you know, and that's kind of what the whole basis of the song is. 
So uh, looking at the record too, something you don't see a lot of anymore these days, but it's some really cool artwork. Tell me a little bit about the artwork on the record. Yeah, so Kevin Freer is like one of the best artists around here. He's uh, he's kind of like a go-to guy for anybody around here in the scene that needs artwork done. He's a really good illustrator, and uh, he does a lot of stuff in comic books, but he's capable of, you know, like that really realism and surrealistic uh, uh, graphic drawing and whatnot. So, yeah, we just went to Kevin, and I just said I wanted to get, like, you know, because like, the whole thing is, like, the new world and opening your eyes and stuff like that, you know, the whole stay woke movement, if you will, trying to play off that a little bit. So I just wanted kind of like an eyeball with like a little burning city kind of in the reflection of kind of like a metaphor that's kind of going on right now. Everything's kind of chaotic and everything's kind of on fire. Nobody really knows what, what's going on as far as, you know, media is kind of playing a part in it. And so it's, it's kind of a confusing time we live in right now. So, that's kind of why I wanted to symbolize that. Now, the, the kind of a throwback thing is a weird uh, kind of gig you got coming up here. April 29th, you got a big show. Tell folks about that one. Yeah, man, I'm, we're, we're, we're really pumped about that. We're, we're uh, opening for Steel Panther, which is like just as surprising to us as it was, I think, to everybody else <laughs> who was trying to get on that show. But uh, yeah, no, we're, we're, we're so excited about that. Those guys are like some of the funniest people, I think, in the business right now. And I think they're going to be a lot, I think people don't give them as much credit as they deserve to get as far as just sheer musicianship, but never mind like, you know, the the lyrics and stuff that are a little bit on the dirty side. Well, a lot on the dirty side. But <laughs> yeah, I can't even play them on our show. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, they're definitely dirty, but they're, 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 it's all in good fun. And in the end, you know, I don't think anybody gets hurt at their shows and, it's, it's all, you know, that's the one thing that rock and roll is kind of lacking nowadays, and it's kind of frowned upon that, you know, the whole thing with girls and, you know, all that stuff. And, you know, it, and the fact that they play a joke on it so well and it works with them is just, it's just one of the, it's like, it's like you're missing something if you don't see this band, because whether you're into that kind of music or not, you're still going to laugh. You're still, you know, it's almost a stand-up comedy routine on top of the music that they play. You know, they're really good. Their banter is great. And uh, they're they're actually really smart dudes. They're, they're really interesting guys if you really look into who they are. And stuff. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm super excited, and I I hope to get to meet them and whatnot. I'd be really uh, really uh, I don't know what the word is. That would, take, that would set my night up even higher. I think if I could hang out with those dudes just for a little bit, you know, just to just to see what they're about. And you know, I feel like I don't know if those guys are in character all the time. I feel like those kind of guys they're just always that. You know what I mean? So <laughs> if I get to see them without like, you know, see them behind, like, you know, their their wigs and whatnot. It'd be interesting. The thing about doing a lot of these opening acts and stuff like that is that we get to go backstage and see a lot of the workings of a lot of these bands and stuff like that. And it, it's really technical and it's really cool. And, uh, like, we got to play, we got to open for Avatar uh, early in the summer, nice. uh, last summer. And that was, that, that was so cool because they have so many gadgets and, and uh, things working within their their crew there that it's really cool to like kind of get back there and like I got I kind of snuck a selfie inside like a lot uh Johannes comes out and like curtain thing that he drops and you know he's kind of standing there as like a statue that this, their whole walk out so I kind of like snuck a selfie inside that thing and like you know just like little fun things that you know, I think most people at the shows don't really get to go do or see I kind of get a little more access not too much access but I get enough to where I get to <laughs> walk away being like that was a good night that was that you know I'll, I'll, i'm glad I'll, I'll go on later being like oh yeah i got to go do that and that you know it, it's really uh it's, i'm really lucky as far as that goes now i got the pleasure of catching your band at one of my very favorite festivals in the country last year out at rock fest in kadat is there uh i know the album's just out and it's kind of hard to hit a festival and the album just comes out but any hope for us uh, some festival performances in the near future or maybe next summer well, we got a warp tour this year in Connecticut, so that's the one festival we're on so far, but we do want to do another trip out to, like, Wisconsin, but like, we love Rock Fest last time, and that place is so cool. I mean, there's not a lot of places in the country, I think, that are kind of, like, these crazy, chaotic environment in the middle of nowhere, you know, in the middle of this beautiful farmland, there's this, this chaotic mass, and they're shooting fireworks off till four or five in the morning. It's almost lawless there. It's beautiful. They're busting <laughs> pool water in because people bring pool. It was unbelievable. In, you have to understand, in Connecticut, we don't, they don't allow us to have fun. But, you know, so they, <laughs> anything that, like, requires fun, they kind of, they kind of put the kibosh on for the most part. So, uh, Wisconsin's 
and they know how to do it as far as that goes, man. That was that was a, a whole other level of camp that I've never seen before. It is you know, I was really yeah, it's one of our favorite events of the entire year. This will be our seventh year, I believe, going back, so we love it out there as well. Um, hey, uh, yeah, I man, I, w- I definitely want to go back. Yeah, before I let you go, um, so what's the most important thing for the band now? So here you are, the album uh, once again just came out, you know, a couple of days ago, really. And uh, what's the most important thing now? Is it touring? Is it doing interviews like this? Or what's the biggest, uh, you know, thing for success for a record? I think the most important thing for uh, any band, just to be successful in general, is you have to really treat it like a job. Because essentially it is a job, you know what I mean? And, if you, and you get as much in, uh, from it as you put into it. So the next thing for us is to really we're going to keep promoting as hard as we can, and we got and just to stay consistent with shows and uh, playing new places. We're going up to New York this year. We haven't played up there yet, so uh, we're excited to do that. And uh, we definitely want to take more trips, more trips that are kind of give us uh, a, a greater volume. So we have to kind of be careful in where we pick and choose to where we want to go and what what's really going to put us further along, as opposed to just taking a trip again. But Rock Fest was great last time. That was uh, definitely a surprise. So maybe we're looking into something like that. Maybe it's another big festival, something like that. Just something to keep the name go, uh, going and going. But right now, we're going to find another bass player and uh, just stay consistent with our shows. We've got some good ones coming up. we got some, we got some good local ones coming. we got some great bands that we're playing with. There's, there's, uh, the one thing about Connecticut is we have a really good music scene. The bands that come out here are great. And... Uh, so you you really you really got a good competition as far as that goes, you know. So, I mean, like I said, the next thing is we just you have to stay consistent. You have to treat it like a job and put put all the time that you you can possibly put into it into it. And that's that's our goal right now is just to keep going, keep it steady. Uh, a video soon, more lyric videos and whatnot. We want to get uh, most likely get a lyric video up now for every song that we have at New Office. So. People can get the words out there and just do more, you know, social media and whatnot. Just more networking and just keep the ball rolling, man. Well, we're going to do everything we can, our little bit here at the Marmy Rock Show, to help you out. Once again, the band is in the red. They're from Connecticut. And the new record, The New World, is out right now. It's awesome. Been listening to it all day. And uh, Cody, man, your singer of In the Red, I want to thank you for being with us here on the Marmy Rock Show this evening. Thank you guys so much for uh, having me, man.